Today we're going to look at how you can improve your website by better understanding the marketplace that you are operating in. In other words, know thy enemy. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes and this is the website we are looking at today, sent in by one of our users. The website is FlexShop. So right away, let's take a quick look at this. I think one of the things that works well here is it doesn't take long to figure out what this is about. We can see the Flex Shop, Sports Nutrition, the name is quite clear. And we can see this is a store selling various sports supplements and such. And then the question of course is that the conversion goal here, the thing we're trying to improve is, well, we want people to order more stuff from this shop. So let's have a quick look at the navigation. We've got categories right here protein amino acids muscle building and so on and we've got also kind of a second way of categorizing by purpose or by goal muscle building weight loss well-being then we have a brands page let's have a quick look at that okay that's just a, a list essentially of the different brands that we have here new products that's just a list of products okay no surprise there outlet let's see what that is Ah, so here's one thing right away. There's not no big differentiation here. You know, should I be excited about the new products? The outlet, I guess that's discounts. I think that could also be, you know, that could look more exciting uh, and look more different from other pages. So maybe that's an opportunity top 30. And again, so, so there right away, I think with new products outlet and top 30, they look way too similar. There's no explanation. There's no, there's nothing that makes me excited about any of these pages and that's something to improve. However, I think there's something else here. If we look at this, that, so my approach here, if this was my website, I wanted to improve it. My approach would be to take a closer look at what are my competitors doing now? I'm not, you know, hugely into this market, but I do know some of the competitors and I want to quickly show you some of them to see, to kind of see a contrast between this side and those other sides. So let's have a look. On the one hand, there is MyProtein. So MyProtein, as far as I know, is a very successful e-commerce store selling protein and other supplements. And what you can see very quickly here is that they have their own brand. So they sell their own uh, supplements and powders and whatnot in bulk. And that is something that, you know, sets them apart. And it's also they offer the, this kind of stuff quite cheaply. They also have a uh, navigation that's quite similar. However, I think this categorization here is a bit better that they have because here, if I go, okay, muscle and strength is my goal. This is the page I'm greeted with, with a, a landing page that explains, uh, you know, what I need and then basically information about diet training and so on, and then products. I think that is superior to this here where you have purpose first of all purpose isn't as good a word i think to use as goal and you have you know muscle building weight loss well-being but i still have to okay endurance protein amino acids i still kind of have to figure out well which one of these things do i need why do i need them that is a lot less attractive however i have to say that you know the problem is i think this is better but of course the problem is it's already been done right so you know just copying this might not be the best thing to do. Anyway, so this is my protein. Then we also have bulk powders. And honestly, between the two, I don't even know which one was first. They're very, very similar. Um, so here, you know, <laughs> one of these two companies basically cloned the other company. Uh, and I think it was probably bulk powders that, that cloned my protein. In the meantime, they look a bit different. They have a bit of their own look. They used to be much more similar, but we have, um, a similar approach here and also but importantly we also have uh, they have their own products right they have their own brand they sell their own branded products they also sell them in bulk and they sell them very cheaply so an advantage that both of these have is that they have their own brands and they sell them cheaply and obviously some people are going to buy because of the low price but having their own brand also helps them establish customer loyalty in a way that is is more difficult to do when you don't sell your own brand then the final competitor i want to look at is on it and on it is quite 
interesting. They're quite different. So these guys don't have a huge range of protein, creatine and all that stuff. They have a more, they also sell their own stuff, <clears throat> but they have a more targeted range and they have some very interesting stuff. They have like this alpha brain product supposed to help you focus or something like that. Uh, they have this mushroom based stuff for immunity and for sports performance. Uh, they have something for bones and joints and they, every one of their products has almost like a story behind it um, where you know they've done this research and they've extracted something out of a weird mushroom and they've created this product. And one of the things you can see here is their presentation is just top notch, amazing, super high quality looking presentation. And also again, they have this advantage of um, having their own brand. They also work a lot with, with kind of sports celebrities and personalities, which I think really, really helps them. So what I'm trying to say here and what I'm trying to show here is these are three competitors who have found ways to really differentiate themselves in the market, right? They've found ways to, to give people a reason to buy in this specific store compared to somewhere else. And I think that's the main thing that can be improved here is to give people a specific reason to come here um, rather than to one of these other places. Now, the solution is probably not to just copy what someone else is doing, right? We don't need another MyProtein clone, essentially, right? But I think there's a possible advantage to exploit by essentially doing the opposite, because what we have here, what we have in the flex shop is we have these brands. And so it's, you know, specifically not the not in bulk, cheap, your own stuff. And that might be something to really take advantage of. For example, I don't know any of these brands, to be honest, but I assume that most of these, th that there will be fitness models and bodybuilders and whatnot who are sponsored by these different brands. And that could be a way in where you say, hey, look, this, you know, whoever um, person, the way they got big and strong, they claim is by using X core products. And it could help to have, you know, to mention, to have, first of all, pictures, of course, pictures of these super uh, unreasonably muscular people and, and them endorsing these different brands. And that would be a reason to come here. Because if I want the X core or whatever the thing is, because I like this specific person, uh, then I can't, I can't go to my protein or bulk powders or on it. They all, they're all doing their own thing and brands and people connected to brands would be one of the reasons for me to spend more money and not just go for the cheapest option. So that I think is an opportunity that would be worth exploring. But that's just one idea off the top of my head pretty much. I'm not an industry expert. So you as the owner of this site know more about this market. And if you have a look at your competitors and what's going on, you can maybe find a much better way to differentiate yourself. But what's important is there needs to be that point of differentiation. As a final note and as a side note, another way in which I think the comparison with competitors can be good is, I think in general, the design of the flex shop site is just not quite as polished, not quite as high quality looking as the design of these other sites. So that might also be something where you can kind of just push the perceived quality of your whole website and your whole range by giving that a redesign and again you can kind of look at what your competitors are doing to get some cues about how to do that how to make your site look more awesome and more high quality so i hope this was helpful have a think about how you can apply this to your own website and your own market and if you have any questions or thoughts please go ahead and leave a comment below thank you for watching and i'll see you next time